Do you want to know a high probability way to cash a winning ticket on Sunday's NFL contest between the Seattle Seahawks and the Atlanta Falcons? Well, stay tuned because I have a clear vision on how this game will play out. And I got the numbers, data, and reasoning to back up uh, my claims. So uh, stay tuned for that, folks. But before we get to that very shortly, um, just a friendly reminder, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please take a second to do so. You'll see a subscribe button right underneath me. Click on that. It's absolutely free to do. And uh, you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world right here at Wager Talk TV. And I say that with the utmost confidence and based on 20 plus years in the sports betting industry in the public eye. Uh, also, folks, um, if you'll see a like button below and that's for you to hit again, I, I ask you to hit the like button. Why? Because I hope that you appreciate the time, work and effort I put into bringing you a quality free pick video uh, each and every day and each and every week. As a matter of fact, my NFL free pick videos, if you've been watching them here on this channel, uh, the last four weeks, we've gone 13 and two with our NFL free pick videos, and we're going to have another winner for you. Uh, today, so let's get to it. The Seattle Seahawks travel to Atlanta, 1 p.m. Eastern Time kickoff, Sunday, October the 20th. Right now, the Atlanta Falcons are a three-point home favorite, but I am going to focus in on the first half total in this game because I believe that's the uh, highest probability chance uh, to cash a winning ticket on this contest. And the first half total right now is 24 and a half. It's on a key number in terms of first half totals, and it's adding an extra hook to it, which will make some people shy away, but I'm not going to in this particular instance, and I'll tell you why. Seattle has gone over the first half total in both of the road games this season, and uh, those games in the first half averaged a combined 29 points per game scored. The Atlanta Falcons have seen each of the last three games go over the first half total, and there was a combined, get this, folks, 37 points scored per game in Atlanta's last three games in first-half action. So um, no matter how you cut it, um, you're going to go over the, to uh, over the total in NFL first-half totals a million out of a million times if uh, you uh, average a combined 37 points scored per game in the first half. Um, this will be the fourth time this year Atlanta is either a point spread underdog or favorite of three or less. So between plus three and minus three, uh, this will be the four, fourth time, excuse me, that Atlanta is in that specific situation this season. The previous three times that they were in that situation, all three games went over the first half total. Seattle's coming off a 36-24 home loss to the San Francisco 49ers. The Atlanta Falcons have scored 17 points or more in the first half of each of their last two games. And that takes me to this first half NFL uh, betting angle that pertains to the total. Anytime you have a road team like Seattle that's coming off a loss by 10 points or more and they're facing an opponent like Atlanta that has scored 17 points or more in each of their last two games, during first half action, uh, those games have played 22 and four to the over in the first half. That's 84.6 percent, and uh, that's 20. The average total in those games 23.3, uh, and the average points scored in the first half of those 26 games 31.7 points scored combined per game over those 26 contests that have gone 22 and four to the over in first half action. We're going to go Seattle, Atlanta over the first half total of 24 and a half is our free pick on Sunday, uh, October the 20th in the NFL. All right. Uh, a couple more items in note. And again, folks, please pay attention for just another minute or so, because this is to your benefit. And I know a lot of you out there will say, I never will pay somebody for their picks. Well, sometimes you have to ask yourself, who are you penalizing? The handicapper or yourself? Depending on what handicapper you're talking about. Now, the 35 guys on our site, 
are highly scrutinized and have a winning track record over a prolonged period of time and impeccable reputations. So having said that, pertaining to myself, the NFL over the last three Sundays, I've gone seven, two, and one. My college football picks, 107 and 71, 60% since December 2nd of 2022. And that's good for a net profit of over $9,100. And that ranks number one at Wager Talk during that course of time in college football. Also, my college football, the last five Saturdays, 19, seven, and one, folks. And uh, my, my also NFL college football combined, 18 and seven, 72% since September the 28th. So we're hitting at a very high rate in the NFL and college football, and uh, you need to get on board. And by the way, folks, Saturday night, Georgia-Texas game in college football, much anticipated matchup and a game that will get a lot of action and a lot of viewing. Uh, I have the winning side in that game, and it's a 5% best bet. And my 5% best bets in all sports since February the 2nd of this year have gone 27 and 14. Folks, that's good for 66%. Need I say more? So you could get all of my daily picks and subscription plans over at my personal link at wagertalk, wt.buzz slash rb, wt.buzz slash rb. That 5% best bet in college football, $35. But your best bang for your buck, folks, is my subscription plans of either three days, seven day, 30 day, or an annual package. Okay, so you can get really, really affordable prices. And when you break it down, uh, pennies on the dollar to what you uh, pay per day for those subscription plans. So again, wt.buzz slash RB, and I'll be back shortly with another NFL free pick video. Until then, take care and God bless, folks.